I developed a passion for snowboarding. Snowboarding is, a, is just a sport. Basically, you take a board and you strap it to your legs and then you go down a mountain. <laughs> And I love this not just for the physical aspect of the sport, but also for the environment that it brought me into. So in order to snowboard, you have to be in the mountains. Back then I didn't have a smartphone or any GPS, so I just took this paper atlas, <laughs> and I grabbed this paper atlas and a few CDs, and I just took off. I started driving, and I drove for thousands and thousands of kilometers across the U.S. I drove from New Jersey to Chicago to Minneapolis to North Dakota. I remember seeing the Badlands, this beautiful area with these giant bison and this beautiful scenery and I felt like finally I was changing my reality. And once I reached these big mountains in Montana and Idaho, I was really excited. I was watching these giant, I don't know, incredible walls of rock, you know, <laughs> pass, pass by as I was just driving and driving and driving in my car. And eventually, I finally made it to British Columbia, one of the most incredible places I had ever seen. I was mind blown by the scenery. You know, there were these huge mountains coming out of water. <laughs> uh, there were glaciers, there were just, there was incredible beauty that I had never seen before. And basically I would just sleep in my car because I didn't have enough money for hotels. Um, and then I would snowboard as much as I could. And this sport, it not only introduced me to this really fun physical um, activity. But I also got introduced to a new lifestyle. So when I was in the mountains, I also talked to people. I talked to all kinds of interesting people, older people who were really passionate skiers and snowboarders, people that didn't care too much about these jobs or these careers or university, people that were just having a lot of fun. Sasha, ready to send it? Cut in, cut in. Send it. You're gonna cut in. And these people changed my life because they made me have another perspective of life. I realized then that um, all of these people were really happy. <laughs> they were in Whistler, they were loving it, they were having the time of their lives. These people were doing exactly what they wanted to do and they were doing it every day and that was their life. They were snowboarding, they were skiing, they were mountain biking, they were climbing mountains and they didn't care at all about their jobs. <laughs> you know, most of these people worked a little bit here and there just to survive, but that wasn't their priority at all. Their priority was their favorite hobby. And I realized that I can make my favorite hobby my priority too. Oh, After this, I started traveling. At first, I was just traveling with my car all over North America. I was driving all over the West Coast. I drove across 
Canada once, across the US twice, and then once I sold my car, I flew to Mexico. <laughs> and there I started backpacking, I met some friends there, I took buses all around Mexico, I stayed in cheap hostels and hotels. I went to Australia, then Europe and Turkey. Um, I hitchhiked through Australia, through New Zealand, across Europe, across half of the US, and a few other places. I never had much money, but I always managed to find a job here or there just to hold myself over and have enough for my next adventure. When I hitchhiked and couch surfed, I found extremely kind people um, all over the world. And it always surprised me how kind they were. <laughs> 